To write the balanced net ionic equation for HNO3 plus BBCO3, we'll use these rules here. The first thing we need to do with net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. It looks like we have two nitrates here and only one here. So if we put a two here, that'll fix the nitrates. And it turns out that fixes everything else. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Next, we need to write the states for each substance. So nitric acid is a strong acid. It's going to dissolve, dissociate into its ions. We're going to write AQ. Lead compounds often are insoluble. Let's take a look at that on this solubility table here. So we find lead right down here, and we're looking for carbonate. So we go all the way down and over, and we see that I for insoluble. So lead to carbonate, that's going to be insoluble in water. So we're going to write an S after that in our net ionic equation here. Nitrates are very soluble. That's going to be aqueous, dissolve, split apart into its ions. Water is a liquid. Carbon dioxide, that forms a gas. So we have the states for our net ionic equation. Next, we split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. So hydrogen on the periodic table, that's in group one, has a one plus ionic charge. And the whole nitrate, the whole thing is just one minus. So we have two hydrogen ions, two H plus, and I'll write aqueous at the end. I won't write that now. Two of these nitrate ions, the NO3 minus, plus this is a solid. This lead to carbonate is a solid. So we don't split those apart in net ionic equations. Just write lead to carbonate, that PbCO3. These are the reactants for the products. Lead, we can't tell the charge on that just by looking at the Pb, but we do know that nitrate, that whole thing is a one minus. So we have two times one minus, two minus, lead has to be two plus. So we have the lead two ion, Pb two plus, plus we have two of these nitrate ions. And then water, we don't split that apart because it's a liquid and carbon dioxide, that's a gas. We don't split that apart either. So this is our total or complete ionic equation for HNO3 plus PbCO3. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. They haven't changed, so we're not worried about them. I see in the reactants, there's two nitrate ions. And then in the products right here, two nitrate ions. Let's cross those out. But everything else is unique. So what's left is the net ionic equation for nitric acid plus lead to carbonate. I'll clean it up, write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for HNO3 plus PbCO3. You'll note that charge is conserved. We have two times one plus. That's two plus on this side. We have a two plus over here. So charge is balanced. And if you count the atoms up, they'll be the same on both sides as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for HNO3 plus PbCO3. Thanks for watching.